And good morning, guys. Good morning. Today we are saying good morning from the beautiful area of Champagne, where yes. we are going to visit some of the finest Champagne houses in the world and try to learn a bit about Champagne. You look very well dressed. Well, you know, you got to try to dress for the occasion. And yes. we're here with Rika Julin. I think maybe you remember the, the non-alcoholic sparkling wine we had at our wedding with the special bottles. Yes. These ones? I have to show this bottle. We got these from the we for the wedding. And it's non-alcoholic. It's from Ricard Yulin. We got to pick like different patterns. Things we liked. Like skis for you. A, a heart, a palm tree, of course. Yeah, so they're all different. So that's how we got in contact with Ricard and today we're gonna join him to see some of the finest champagne houses and try to learn how to identify everything the way he does it. That guy is like a magician. Yeah, he, but he's the world's best champagne taster. He actually is the world's best champagne taster. I th they had a test where they tried, was it 50 bottles? Yeah, it was a blind test. Blind test, 50 bottles, and he nailed 48 of those. Saying, 43, I think. 43? No, I think it was 43 out of 50. Yeah, anyway, the like number two was at three or four bottles. Four, yeah. I'm gonna check if those facts are exactly correct. But basically, we are here with the world champion of being the best at champagne. Yes. But that's the plan, a bit of a special vlog. And here we have the man. <laughs> we we have to start by checking up if my facts were correct. When you did the testing and... The blind test. The blind test. How many bottles did you test? Five different, completely blind. No. <laughs> 50? <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm like, did I get it completely wrong? <laughs> I, I got 43 out of 50. And number two got four out of the 50. Yeah, but now we've seen you try some champagne and it's incredible. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't and... get it. It's like he's from a different <laughs> universe. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to teach him. Yeah. It's going better and better. It's a combination between knowledge, of course, and, and yeah. time. I've been doing this for a very, very long time. But most of all, I'm born with a photographic sense of smelling memory. So I remember smells almost exactly. But you also have to have a good memory to remember everything. Yeah. Yeah. So. I, mean, I mean, I can easily see how you fly a jet fighter, how you drive an F1 plane. <laughs> I, can't. I, I can see how everything in the world, how you can do it. Yeah. What you do, I cannot understand. <laughs> no, but no one can. <laughs> He's the That's best. <laughs> no. The lovely mopeds are making another vlog appearance. And, and yes. awful smell as well. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, does the, what does the moped smell like? <laughs> well. It's a little bit different from um, the other exhaust fumes. Uh, it, it's a little bit more gunpowdery smokiness. Yeah. And it depends on how close it is, but it really disturbs me as well. <laughs> and, and he's not joking, like no. the, what he can feel is you're one of the, the most fascinating human beings I've ever met. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> to say the least. Sure, and you know what I love the most about him? He understands my obsession of Absolutely. being obsessed with things. Obsession, perfection, trying, aiming to do the best you can wherever you are. That's what we like. Yeah. Sounds yeah. like uh, a good recipe. I love the recipe. And today <laughs> we're gonna head towards Dom Perignon. Yeah. And look that's, at that a bit more. That's really one of the best. The P3s, I hope we're gonna taste some P3s today because those have a, an extraordinary depth that you can only dream about. We will see, hopefully, we'll see what the weather does. It's supposed to rain a bit today, but we're right. here for the champagne, not the weather. Exactly, right. It looks good, but look over there. It's coming here. It's coming, it's coming, and we're gonna head to jump in the bus here and head towards uh, Dom Pagnon. With a lovely group. With yes, a lovely group. we're an group. amazing group. Let's go. Let's go. Holy wow. This one is from 1975. Crazy, no? 2006. 95. I was five years old. A P2. P2, yeah. Another P2 from 2002. And one from 2004, 2009, 2008. And they're so different. Who would have thought that we got to try all these? <laughs> and there's more to come. This is the first stop of four today. So that was. Super cool experience and unlike anything else that I've tried in the past and it was kind of incredible to hear all the experts talk about things that, you know, I know what the bottles look like but not much more. But now I feel, feel like I've a lot learned but I know a lot more. Yeah. 
But we're gonna do a lot more of this, so I said we check in with Benny so there's a bit of action because yeah, today, well, on this trip. We're just gonna drink champagne. On this trip, we're just relaxing. So let's check in with Mr. Ortega. What are you up to, Benny? I'm glad to see that you guys are having a blast up in the north of France. Here, nothing much has happened. It's like, and when I mean nothing much has happened, I mean nothing much has happened. <laughs> Nothing much has happened. Um, I went to the bank, then got new sunglasses. And this is what I used to have. And, et voila, brand new ones. And then I came back here, yeah, to relax some more and enjoy the fact that the sun is still massively hot. But yeah, for this afternoon, nothing planned, except that I have a little surprise for you, Yun. Yeah, I haven't told you about it, but I'm guessing you're gonna discover through this vlog. I'm gonna visit one of my best friends and uh, you will see what happened. And this is Duardo, my friend, and I decided to do something special, so... Yeah, it's almost done. Yeah. Almost done. Over now from Cannes, and I hope you guys have some more fun up in the north. It's like champagne meditation. Yes, exactly. See me. We have the speaker system. We need to buy some crew. Like having a little music. Yeah, yeah, incredible. Fantastic. Yes. That's the one tip I've learned throughout the different testing. Music to it. Loved it. And we have now moved on to Krug, if I pronounce that correctly. Krug. And we're gonna go down and check the cellars. And the cool thing with Ricard is that we get to see things you normally no one else could no see. It's like he's being greeted like a god in here. The light here will be hard because it's a non-special light to not affect the lines. But look at this. And here you're in front of our collection of vintages. See if it tastes better once it's open. <laughs> See now we know how to do it. We got an expert. And there was bottles and bottles and bottles and bottles and bottles. And this is like three percent. So eleven thousand seven hundred and 89 bottles, 57,000 in here. I love the settlers. Yeah, they're cool, right? I have no idea if this light is gonna make it focus, but the cellars down here is for sure my favorite part. I am a clumsy person, so you don't want to tip any of these over. No. But just being down here in the cellar scene and everything, that's, I think that's super cool.
and we are back at another beautiful place. It yeah. always happens with Eureka. We're, we're <laughs> yeah. always just beautiful places everywhere. Look and at this, great. Look at this outstanding place. You know, this is one of the most famous vineyards in the world. It's Bollinger's Vieille Vigne Francaise, Hino Nora grapes. The only one which is left after the wine laws. And it's pure Pinot Noir. So I thought, why not drink my own non-alcoholic? The one you had at Look your, at this. Your yeah. wedding champagne. We have been at the nicest champagne houses in the world. And this guy, he gets treated like it's the king of France, the king of the world <laughs> that arrived. Like, hello, Mr. Ricard. Like, seeing that yeah. was just wow. So if you have your name yeah. on something. It means it's good. It means it's as good as it gets. Yeah. But it was actually uh, Yanni's dad yeah. who yeah, introduced yeah. me to the uh, non-alcoholic. Uh, yeah, I'm going to call it non-alcoholic champagne. Yeah. Even yeah. though you're technically not allowed, but. It's not from the district of champagne. So because of that, you're technically not allowed. But I it's think it's what people wine. see it as. Uh, yeah. And it's the closest you get to champagne. And absolutely the, the only one that you really can drink, which is non-alcoholic, yeah. according to my taste. Yeah. Anyway, let's taste. It still works. See, now Yanni knows how to actually taste the champagne. We didn't know this before. She's in her bubble. You shouldn't talk while I'm tasting, you know? Sorry. No, I'm kidding. Me me <laughs> mental bubble, yeah. No, but being on the trip has been more educational than I could ever imagine. And you are a more special human being than I could ever imagine because how you can feel what you can feel. Incredible. <laughs> Thanks no you. words. Thanks. I kiss so. you. No. <laughs> but now you should have a sip of this, so every time we drink this, we will remember this place. We Technically, showing. Down with the nose. Turning exactly, excellent. Big sip. <clears throat> Swallowing a couple of times. Long contact on the palate. A lot of wine contact with your taste buds. Concentration, aftertaste. It's a good aftertaste, I still feel it. It's fantastic. And you know what, this, I can just have another sip and, and I don't have to worry about being productive <laughs> later on. <laughs> no. Yeah. So that is really good. But now it's time for us to head to the airport, but it's been yeah. fantastic. Yeah. And in a vineyard with the <laughs> foremost ex expert in the field. But I have an idea. We're gonna spin straight to the airport, but not all the way to Monaco. Because last time we spun past the flight, people said, no, but we wanna see the flights as part of your vlog. Oh, so okay. we'll spin to the airport, but not to Monaco. Okay. <laughs> And what an awesome, awesome swing in this is. Delayed Charles de Gaulle Airport. Charles de Gaulle. Exactly what we needed here. We've been reading some comments. Uh, it's a really bad uh, place to be, social media places right now. If, Enjoy life, If we guys. don't publish a vlog, it's because there's simply no time to do it, not because we're not doing anything. Just like at airports, we get up at five, we do our best. So if you don't like it, go somewhere else. Please stop with the negativity. Be positive, people. You know the worst part? about this delay no. we said that we would not spin to Monaco to show the flight well, let's spin it it used to be like a beautiful sunset there when we were supposed to fly now it's black and that's the worst kind of vlogging you can do so we're gonna spin it anyway because <laughs> apparently we don't work and we just like to chill where do we go now uh, we're gonna go to Monaco and we're home <laughs> we were so tired I was this close to forgetting to end the vlog but then I realized we have such a nice place that, oh, we should film it. Yeah, we have a vlog that we're gonna end right here. So a bit of a different trip. We kind of expected to go on a chill trip. Turns out we'd be, we've been going from 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. And uh, as much as we've learned, it hasn't left much time for anything else. So it's been a bit hectic. So I look forward to some regular work time. Before it's time for the Monaco Influencer Award. Exactly, which is gonna be great. But first work so that we can avoid it being called useless and improductive and all these things. Yeah, life is more fun if you're happy and positive. And with those words, we say good night. Ciao. Those are good last words. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. No weird words. Hand. <laughs>